Okay, I actually uh, taped all this with the class, and when I went to upload it, it crashed on me. So I'm retaping uh, lesson one. So if I go a little bit fast, it's because I'm not taping it with a, a class full of students. So uh, if you need to, you can always press pause and copy things down, because I'm going to go through it rather quick. So we're going to start right from the beginning, simplifying and factoring polynomials. Now, first of all, you can only add and subtract like terms. What does that mean? Only x's with x's, y's with y's. You can multiply unlike terms together, but you cannot add or subtract them. So what we're looking for here is we're looking for all the things that look the same. Okay? So we've got 2x plus 7x is 9x plus 5x is 14x. Then we have all the y's, and make sure you take the sign with it. Okay, a negative 11y and a 3y is a negative 8y. Okay, if you're going to multiply polynomials together, you want to make sure that you use the distributive property and you distribute it to everybody. FOIL, okay, same thing. It's your first outer inner last, right? So you take your 2x, multiply it to these. So that's 8x squared plus 2x. Then you take the negative 3 to both of these. That is negative 12x minus 3. You can combine like terms, 8x squared minus 10x minus 3. Okay, now if you're going to do uh, a binomial by a polynomial, it's just keep it straight. Take the x, multiply to everybody, and take the 2y and multiply to everybody, as you can see in the example. Okay, now this example here, what would we do? Students get confused. They're like, should I multiply the 2 in? Okay, the answer to that is no. What I want you to do is multiply the brackets together first. And this is a set of brackets, too, because this is actually 2a minus 7, 2a minus 7. And you see how the 2 is outside of the brackets? Leave it out there right now. And the negative 1 is outside that set of brackets. Leave it alone. So this will turn out to, I'm just speeding up the FOIL a bit here. Um, you would get 2 times 15a squared minus 18a plus 20a minus 24, and then the minus, and then 2a minus 7 times 2a minus 7 would be 4a squared minus 14a minus 14a plus 49. Now, the 2 comes in in the front here to all of these, and a negative 1 comes to all of these. Okay? So that would be 30a squared and the negative 18a and the 20a will join together to become uh, 2a, but then you multiply that by 2 so you get plus 4a minus 48 minus 4a squared plus 28a. Remember, you have to add these together first to get negative 28, and then you move, and then negative 49. Then you'll get, when you add this all together, 26a squared plus 32a minus 97. <coughs> Factoring polynomials. Now we're going the other way. Okay? Now we're going to be multiplying or, or finding out what multiplies to get something. So factor, we're going to make into a product. So what I mean is 20, 20 is just a number. How do I make that into a product? Well, that's 4 times 5. Even better yet, I can factor it to 2 times 2 times 5. Okay? Now, so we're basically going backwards now. So the most important step is GCF. K 
can you take stuff out? Do you see out of this pair and this pair, you can divide out of six. And you divide and you subtract out the largest power or exponents. You can take out an x to the 3 in both and a y to the 2 out of both. If I do that, you're left with this. Next, difference of squares. Difference of squares is when you have a squared minus b squared. Or in this case, uh, which would turn out to be a plus b, a minus b. An example that might be different from last year is they may not both be perfect squares, yet you can still do difference of squares on them in Math 31. <clears throat> because this would be x squared, and this would be root 5 squared. So this would be x plus root 5, x minus root 5. Okay, and here's an example of this one here. Just make sure you identify your a. Your a would be 7m. And this would be 10y to the 3, z to the 2. Because when you multiply those in, you'll get your 100y. To, and then you just put it into your a and b. So it's a minus b, or a plus b in this case, a minus b. <coughs> Sum and difference of cubes. Now this is right on your formula sheet. Okay, if it's a cubed minus b cubed, your formula is a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared. If it's a plus b cubed, it would be a plus b times a squared minus ab plus b squared. <clears throat> so let's do, for sake of time, let's do this one. Now my a would be 2x. And my b would be 3y squared. Because if you cube both of those, you'll get back to the original. Okay, now we can fill in our formula. So that would be 2x plus 3y squared. And this would be 4x squared, because that's a squared. So we're doing this formula here. Minus a times b would be 6x y squared plus b squared would be 9y to the 4. Okay, when we do grouping, all you want to do is you want to take common groups, bring them together. So in this case, we brought these two together and these two together. Out of this first set, I could take out an A. Out of this set, I could take out a B. And that left me with C minus D and C minus D. So you take out your C minus D, and you would be left with A plus B for there. Okay, trinomials. Now trinomials, we have what's called a type 1, or what I call a type 1, is if there's just a 1 in front. Now if you have a 1 in front, all you do is look for what two things add to give me 2, what two things to give me negative 15. Now always establish your signs first. It has to be a positive and a negative, because that's the only way you're going to get a negative number. Now you can get a negative or a positive, but I like to put the positive first because the uh, addition part is a positive 2. So if we have a positive 2, that means this must, the positive must have 1. So my two numbers would be 5 and negative 3. 5 and negative 3. So that's how we get x plus 5, x minus 3. Now, a type 2 polynomial. Type 2, you have to use decomposition. When it's a type 2, when a does not equal 1. Okay? So look, we're looking for two numbers that add to give me 3 or sorry, se negative 17, and multiply to give me 30. Okay, so we're looking for two negatives. Okay, negative 15, negative 2. 15, negative 2. 
Okay, then I split that up, then I put brackets, and I can take a 3x out of the first set, leave me with x minus 5. I can take a negative 2, leave me with x minus 5. I bring the x minus 5 out front, and the 3x minus 2 fall in there. Okay, so in summary, <clears throat> you always want to take out a GCF first. It makes it the easiest. Look for difference of squares or difference of cubes. Look for three terms by inspection if A equals 1. Do inspection or if it's not, do type 2 decomposition and then grouping. Okay, so let's do th these three examples. First one, can I take anything out? Yes, I can take out a 10 and an X, which would leave me with 8Y cubed plus Z to the 6. Okay, now this can be a difference of cubes, right? You, this could be 2Y cubed and this could be Z squared cubed. So putting it in our formula, remember the formula A plus B a squared minus a b plus b squared. So I would take the 10, leave it out front, and then it would be 2y plus z squared, all times 2y squared is 4y squared, minus 2yz squared, 2yz squared, right, a and b, and then plus z to the 4. Next one, okay, this one we're going to do some grouping. Out of this, uh, let's do, let's do these two together, xy squared plus 6x squared minus 54 minus 9y. Okay, out of this first set, I can take out an x squared, leave me with y plus 6. Out of the second set, I can take out a negative 9, leaving me with 6 plus y. <clears throat> now you can see 6 plus y is common, leaving me with x squared minus 9. As you can see, x squared minus 9 is a difference of squares. So this would be 6 plus y times x minus 3 times x plus 3. Okay, last one, example 3. So I have three A's, okay? Now this one, uh, whenever you have this, half of this, you just do it like every other um, quadratic. So this is a type two though, what plus what equals negative seven and what times what is negative 60 and we get negative 12 and five, negative 12 and five. So then we would go 3a to the 4 minus 12a squared plus 5a squared minus 20. Okay, let's do some grouping. Can group this, can group this. Take out a 3a squared. Leave me with a squared minus 4. This we can take out a 5. Leave me with a squared minus 4. So then I have a squared minus 4 times 3a squared plus 5. Okay, this is a minus 2, a plus 2, times 3a squared plus 5. Okay, homework. 1, a, c, e. 2, a, c, e. G I K M S O three A and four A B C.